Slighton Farm School is an abandoned reformatory school for delinquent girls aged 12 to 18 in Pennsylvania. The complex, named after Henry Slighton, the property owner of the lots the state school was built upon, had begun as the House of Refuge before becoming the Glen Mills School Girls Department. The Slighton Farm School began as the House of Refuge in Philadelphia in 1826. It was founded by the Quakers, with assistance from the Pennsylvania Prison Society, on the basis that juvenile offenders should be treated differently than adults. The House of Refuge believed its primary goals were to retrain and re-educate at-risk youth, most of whom came from unstable homes. It accomplished this by establishing a sense of security, and a sense of responsibility and self-respect. Male offenders were moved to Glen Mills in Delaware County to the newly formed Glen Mills School in 1889, while the female offenders remained at the House of Refuge. The House of Refuge sought land in the rural Delaware County countryside in 1906 in a shift of curriculum. The reformatory school found the belief that students would be better served in a setting that emulated a large family, where the therapeutic power of growing things on a working farm would be better than keeping them in the inner city hardscape. Cope and Stewartson, a Philadelphia architectural firm, was hired to design dormitories and associated buildings for the rebranded Glen Mills School Girls Department in 1908. Construction of the school began in 1909, and it opened in 1911. The original facility included nine cottages, Campbell, Dubois Miller, Harrison, Lincoln, Logan, Lucretia Mott, Robinson Washington, and Watson, that were designed in the Colonial Revival style, an administrative building that was developed in the Greek Revival style, small cottage, stone barn, and power plant. Over the years, various lots surrounding the Gates Mill property were acquired, including a house owned by Alfred Darlington that became Stokes Cottage. Another was a circa 1803 residence owned by George Baker that became known as the Little House. On April 17, 1931, the school split into two, one for boys and one for girls. The boys' school kept the Glen Mills name while the girls' school became known as the Slighton Farm School for Girls. By 1949, Slighton had grown to 350 acres, housing 350 to 360 females. Enrollment in 1975 totaled just 24 women and was drowning in $1.4 million in debt. The executive director at the time, Gloria La Vista, decided to open the school to boys, which boosted the population to 201 students, 79% of whom were male.
Thank you.